What's up, YouTube? I just did this video. It's all good. I'm gonna do it one more time. And iPhones. Anyways, I'm just gonna give you guys a rundown real quick. I know it's been a minute. I was waiting for my uh, my my wolf to kind of get to a point where you can see what I've been doing. Um, I'll do a quick spin around. I'm gonna show y'all what I've been working with, and I'm a I'm a comb. You already know this is a session, right? But I'm a comb while we're talking, and we're gonna get this show on the road. <coughs> I'll be coming with this comb. Don't trip. I still got this comb though. Hey, even in the crack, I still use it. I'm not gonna replace it just for the crack. I don't know how that happened, but I'm not replacing it. Uh, Diane A159. Diane A119. Uh, I shower brush every day, and um, just with the water. Sometimes I'll have a, a co-wash session, and this is what I use for that. Uh, this co-wash for me when I co-wash with it, it works really well because it does help um, control the frizz and make my hair lay down pretty smooth. And I don't use too many. Uh, I held it there that long so you can read the description for yourself. But um, I don't really use too many products right now. Um, I'm, I started to use these just because I want the, I want my hair to be really thick and full so that I get the most out of this wolf session. Um, so I've been using this. Shout out to RD3. Uh, this stuff, I don't know, it just keeps my waves looking kind of kind of rugged looking. Sometimes when I use my co label stuff, it it lays my hair down. It change like my texture looks different when I use other stuff. So when I use this kind of stuff, I get the most out of the way my texture looks and things. And then uh, of course it helps with the thickness and the growth, and that's what I'm doing right now, wolfing. So thick, thick and growth. Again, thick and growth. Do grow, make it thick. This is this is a must have for, for you waivers out there if you if you want to get a nice wolf and have your stuff real healthy. And uh, looking real luxurious and whatnot. Like that little tip from Daryl Average. It's a blue dude right there. Uh, mm, man and Tell. Gian. Uh, he, he hooked me up with this to try out one time. I still use it. It's good. Man and Tell, if people don't know about Man and Tell, Man and Tell is old school, man. They got shampoo and conditioner. Um, if if y'all if y'all wanna wanna see a great example of people who um, nine times out of ten grew up using it, uh, um, they grew up on a horse farm. Horses use Man and Tell shampoo and conditioner because it, it can be used for humans or whatever. It just keeps your hair thick and and, and uh, healthy, like. It's good for your hair. It's good for hair. And uh, real and chance from that that show they had, uh, real chance to love or something, something like that. But I promise you, I bet they use that on the farm. Um, anyway, it works for me. I use these three, just a little bit each. And um, after my session, I've been doing that for about three, four days now. So tonight might be like the fourth night, but it, it's cool because I don't do much and it's not greasy, so I like that. And then I have my own water that I mixed up, as you can see, you got a little layer of oil. So it's this cool little yellow color when I mix it up, but it's just a tiny bit of this conditioner, tiny bit. Mainly for the smell, I like how it smells. And then a uh, uh, black castor oil, the coconut edition, and um, King oil, water. Shout out to Cold Label. And my team Cold Label. Shout out to y'all too. So, I'm gonna move that out of the way. I'm gonna go into a little, little session, you know, so that you guys can see, you know, what it's looking like. You don't need this comb, but you need a comb. Make sure you got one. 
it is essential. Essential as it gets. Um, it may look like I might have been doing the flawless connection method at some point, but I haven't because I never have. I just kind of, I don't know, I guess just the way I, I brush and the way that my pattern comes in is just my hair ends up looking wide naturally. Um, me and Jeezy had a conversation about that method though one time. I just got accustomed to a, a, a way of brushing that directly is like his method, but I brush that way naturally. So I figured that out the last go round before I cut my waves and then messed everything up when I cut it and went and got that stupid juice haircut, man. What I was thinking. Should have never cut my waves. But it's alright though. Because I'm almost right back there. This Diana shedding. Because this is one I, I shower brush with it too. Um, I like this brush though. I've been spending a lot of extra time on my top because for those who are on the pages, uh, they know that my top was at a cold slant. And it was like, oh, I don't want no slanted top. It's just not appealing to me. I don't like the way it looks, man. So. I'm trying to shift it back to 360 top with my slanted back like it used to be. And uh, I'm three weeks deep into this wool. I think this is my third week right here. So it's going real nice. And uh, I cannot complain. Tell you that. It's going good. I want to shout out the Royal Court winners. And of course, the Wave Builder King for this month, Randy Parker. You can only know that because I finally caught, I finally caught the end of the running. But my my homie's going hard though, man. So RG3 need to snatch this title up this time. Man, that's a well deserved title. But uh. Y'all ain't got no mirror. It's something that you definitely need. I don't know how you could be away from it. No mirror at this point. I mean, you can. Muscle memory. I got a pretty good muscle memory. But, I prefer to mirror. I can see exactly what I'm doing. Make sure I ain't creating forks. And basically, like, My I try not to brush my waves up the top with that hand, because that's what seems to keep slanting everything. The only way they look like they're coming in straight again is if I brush with the other hand. Now, I just throw a little bit, start with this. And then I come back through, usually with this one. Now I'm going to speed it up a little bit. I just wanted y'all to see, you know, everything. But get this thing brushed up. And um, I'm really not the type of person who brushes all day. I just brush every day. And I'm trying out the OG way of doing this thing, man, where you just, you don't get no cut every two weeks. You get a cut like once every month. And you never really go low when you do get a cut. You just cut it down a little bit, but you don't really get it cut low. Just slow enough to look clean, but not even near a two, really. A two would be a low cut for OG way know this because I got a couple clients just like that so I know how often they come in for a cut and I've seen how deep their waves are if they were just put in the comb and brush work they'd be some beastly people uh, then I come through after that's in there and 
throw in a little bit of Dubro. I like to throw in the Dubro first. I don't know, it's the greasiest one to me. I don't really like the smell, so I always try to do that one first. Get it out the way. Not too, too much, just a little bit. Enough, to, enough for it to look shiny, and that's enough. Crazy. This stuff, my hair is super soft right now. I don't look, don't look it, but it definitely, definitely is. And you can already see how it's starting to shine up now just because of the dew, bro. And then uh, I really don't brush again until I got everything added. It's just how I've been doing things. I literally just stick my finger in the can and it ain't. It's kind of running. It got shipped to me. I don't know if that's the original texture, but that's how it is. And this is about how much I need it is. Uh, another reason why I use it in this order for me, the man and tail by itself makes my hair feel a little bit strange, so I like to put the, the greasiest one down first, the one that makes my hair feel like borderline dry, and then I'm going to lock it all in with, the hand sessions are an important thing, I'm going to lock it all in with uh, this one right here. Last but not least, come through with that. I don't use much of this either. So collectively, it might be like using like a lot of moisturizer and your regular amount of whatever pomade you use. And that's pretty much what I just used. <clears throat> I don't put product in every day. This is the first day I do it like. Let me see, the last time I put product in was two days ago. That's when I started it. And I just shower brush, which doesn't take it all out because this is a it's a heavier grease. So it doesn't really take all of it out. So I shower brush, so tomorrow I'll probably co-wash. Shower brush, add it, add all three of these, boom. Have that session. The next night, shower brush, have that session, have a regular session that night with maybe just a little bit of water. And then the next day, same thing, just a little bit of water, shower brush. And then today, boom, tomorrow, I'll probably co-wash just a little bit. But you get enough of it. You get your little groove down the way it works for you. You know. But this is pretty much it. This is it, man. Going through that. Rag, which I don't know how, but I forgot it. But I got an equivalent in here somewhere. But for now, I ain't going through all that. I'm gonna just rag up with this one right here. I like the Reddit first, but I really don't like them. But throw on that stocking cap. Hey, call it, call it whatever, man. You know you can see them through there, man. But that's me. That's what I've been doing. Nice seeing y'all again. I'm back. Let's get it cracking, y'all. Have a good night.